Hello beautiful people, I have something special for you in time for Valentine's Day. If you would like to see how I transformed this table to this, you need to keep watching. So first things first, I am laying my dining table with a tablecloth, a white tablecloth, and then I'm putting on a table runner. Spoiler alert, that is not a real table runner. That's actually a scarf that I used <laughs> a few years ago as a bridesmaid. And I thought it worked perfectly, so that's what I'm using. And then I'm putting down two placemats um, on the table because it's a table for two. It's Valentine's Day, so it's two play settings. And I've brought out two sets of dishes. Um, the flatter one I'm using as a charger plate. Um, it's not, they are no real charger plates, but they work fine for this. And then I'm using the one at the top. That's where the food is actually going to go. So again, two sets because it's for two people. Um, if you're a throuple, you can probably do three. I'm kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to put the cutlery. Now I googled this several times. So many conflicting uh, opinions, but I finally settled on the fork on the left. The knife and spoon on the right fork on the left knife and spoon on the right that's supposed to be the proper way to do it so I'm showing you a close-up again so the fork goes on the left and the knife and spoon goes on the right that is the proper way several people said we should do it so that's what I'm doing okay so I brought that uh, a chrome stand and I'm putting a, a small platter on there and then wine glasses because we're whining and dining it's Valentine's and then I have this chrome stand that holds uh, this cute uh, ceramic balls so at the bottom one I put fruits at the top one I put sweeties and I have another chrome stand as well that I'm going to use if you don't have chrome stands and uh, platters it's fine you can use normal uh, serving dishes but if you do and you've had it in storage for ages this is a good time to use it and I'm decorating my table with white flowers now if you notice I'm only using touches of red just because it's Valentine's Day you don't want people to think that you're shango worshippers okay so be light on the red and then I've put in wine and orange juice and magically the food has appeared so I'm lighting my um, candle and uh, my tea lights actually and this is useful for two reasons it's romantic and if Nepa takes light you and your bae will still be rocking okay so I'm serving the wine and my table is ready everybody's happy and this is a lovely way for you to enjoy Valentine's Day these are my two Valentine <laughs> my children they're the ones that finished all the food uh, it was such a lovely video to make. I hope you try this for your Val's Day. Thanks for watching. Bye.